Hello, this is David Allen, and you are watching Sporting Icons. So, following my video yesterday where Dave Allen, he spoke about his issues with the David Price fight, but now he's in a much better place and he's more fired up now. And he went to Leeds last night to watch Josh Warrington. And one of the main reasons that he was going to be there was because he wanted to speak with Frank Warren about having a Daniel Dubois fight. Um, no idea if he did meet up with uh, Frank Warren, but either way, Daniel Dubois, he took to social media earlier on today where he said, no problem. If you're serious, how about December in London? And I'll put a link to that in the description box under the source. So there you have it. Dave Allen could have an opportunity to fight for the British heavyweight title. But of course, he, he is going to need permission from uh, the British Boxing Board of Controlled um, in order to have that fight with Dan Dubois for the title. Because uh, these guys, they do have their regulations and what have you. So they may actually decline it. But hey, listen, you never know. But of course, with Dan Dubois, he's also the Commonwealth champion as well. Maybe they can get the Commonwealth title on the line as well as. Because we know Dave Allen would love one or both of these titles for sure. And if he's in a much better place, then it could shape up to be a pretty good fight. I would expect Dave Allen to at least put in some rounds with Daniel Dubois. But listen, Daniel Dubois is going to be the favourite. Let's not hide behind it. And for Dave Allen to have, I don't want to say an advantage in this fight, but to have a better chance, in my opinion, it would be a case of he's going to have to try and psychologically damage Daniel Dubois. Much like Tom Little um, was doing, because of Tom Little, he pretty much got under the skin of Daniel Dubois. Daniel Dubois is very laid back, he's very casual, he's, he's more casual, yeah, yeah, whatever. But from time to time, he does speak up. And I think Dave Allen is the kind of guy that will put it on him at the press conference, put it on him at the weigh-ins, and put it, just put it on him on fight night as well. So we'll really get to see what kind of stuff Daniel Dubois is made of. By the looks of it, Daniel Dubois has got all the ability in the world, he's got the power, and he's got a pretty good chin as well. We have seen him being tagged lately as well. But for Dave Allen to have any kind of success in this fight, he can't do what he's done on a couple of fights, most notably with uh, David Price and um, a couple of others as well, um, as well, like Tony Yoka, for example. And even in the first fight with Lenroy Thomas, where he would walk down his opponent, get on their chest, and not throw anything. So it's almost a complete wasted time to get in on the inside to not throw anything. He gets down to Bois, he's going to have to throw th uh, something, because Dubois is going to go for the knockout. We know Dave Allen's got a very, very good chin, but he needs to throw a hell of a lot more than what he has been recently. Against Lucas Brown, fantastic body shot, of course. But listen, it's a it's going to be a decent money fight. I don't think it'll be a massive money fight, and it would be a headliner as well. Um, but either way, I know some people will be very, very much for this kind of uh, fight on the side of it'll be an entertaining fight for a while. Um, if Listen, it could... It could well go the distance, but Dave Allen is the kind of fighter that would bring out the best in Dan Dubois, um, in my opinion, or if not, he'll crumble. We'll have to wait and see. But it's going to be entertaining, I think. And as I said, I do feel um, some people will be up for this fight because of the entertainment value and because it's extra testing for Daniel Dubois. If Daniel Dubois is going to go on and reach the heights that many of us hope that he will do, then fighting the likes of Dave Allen along the way is going to help him long term, especially if he gets the victory. But of course, if he loses, then Dave Allen is going to be straight up there. So maybe again, this is one of the uh, strategies for Dave Allen. But anyway, Dan Dubois is up for the fight. Dave Allen is up for the fight. Of course, um, last time I spoke with uh, Dave Allen, I did mention to him about potentially fighting Dan Dubois and he said, no chance. I don't fancy getting my head smashed in. So now he's had a complete change of heart, hopefully a complete change of mindset. Um, if uh, if this fight does, of course, go ahead. But anyway, we'll have to watch this space, see what happens. But at the minute, both fighters want the fight. Of course, it'll all be about money and everything now. And that's all down to Frank Warren. Eddie Hearn was asked about it. Eddie Hearn said that he'd rather Dave Allen didn't take the fight. But Dave Allen, he's not a matchroom fighter. Okay, He just happens to fight on Sky from time to time. So he's a free agent enough to go fight on a Frank Warren show if he so chooses to. Anyway, drop your thoughts below about it, click thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.